Novak Djokovic joins Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal in elite group and jokes he can play until he's 70. Novak Djokovic became just the tenth man in history to rack up 800 career match wins on Friday as he booked his spot in the semi-finals at Queen's. The Serb is one of only three active players, along with Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal, to achieve the feat, and joined an elite group of all-time greats on the leaderboard after defeating Adrian Manorino 7-5-6-1. Djokovic has a chance to become the joint ninth most successful player. In terms of match wins, on Saturday, he could match Stefan Edberg's haul of 801 wins. He remains some way off Nadal, 903, and Federer, 1,156, while Jimmy Connors is still way out in front on 1,256 victories. He said in his post-match press conference, it's a milestone. And of course it's a great achievement. Every achievement is a great achievement. I should be happy for it and proud of it. You know, when you work all your life for something and then you get awards for it, of course, and of course also throughout your career, you're enjoying the process, as well. It's obviously very positive and I'm thrilled. I'm grateful, as well, as I'm able to play so many matches and to win so many matches in my career. It's still the sport that I love with all my heart. I put in that heart every single day, and, you know, I'm just very glad to be able to play semi-finals hereafter, you know, Roman Roland Garros tournaments that went pretty well for me. But before that, it was a struggle with surgery and elbow and up and downs and trying to figure things out and get that consistency in the game. So I'm really glad that I was able to play the way that I did in the first three matches in this tournament, and hopefully I can keep it going. While he was delighted to reach the 800 mark, Djokovic suggested he's far from done and joked he could even play on until he's 70. 50, 60, 70. I don't know, he smiled. And I don't want to put any limit or any number to it. I will play as long as I feel like playing and as long as I have, you know, support from up there and from down here, you know. So hopefully I can have many more years, because I truly enjoy playing this sport. Of course it's not every day delightful to hit the tennis ball. There are days where maybe you feel less like playing, but you go through them, and we all are people and we all go through various emotions. But we learn from it, and, you know, I'm just grateful because I'm able to do something that I really truly love and enjoy and be successful in. I don't think that much ahead, especially when it comes down to tennis. And at this moment, under the circumstances, I have to be trying to stay in the present moment as much as I can and get the best out of it. You know, there were times when I was thinking and questioning everything when I was injured and going through surgery process, but, you know, everyone has those moments. Everyone has, you know, doubtful moments. Everyone has moments when they are feeling like everything goes their way. So that's life. You know, life comes in cycles and teaches you lessons. Whether you're going to learn them or not, it solely depends on you. My perception is that, you know, the strength comes within and longevity comes within as much as I, you know, pay attention to the self-awareness and self-care in every aspect of that word, you know, that much of results I'm going to reap. I don't know. As I said, I don't like to put any numbers on how long and when it's going to end. I would rather see things, hey, I'm playing. I'm playing great, back again, I'm 31 on the paper. But I'm 19 in the real sense. I just love to keep on going and see where it takes me. Novak Djokovic speaks out after reaching Queen semi-finals Nick Kyrgios and Marin Silic rate each other's chances of winning Wimbledon Dan Evans comes through effing circus to reach Wimbledon qualifying. 